Um, so here's a quick video today just on the installation process of a, uh, a loft conversion in a terraced house without doing a dormer. So it's kind of, um, if you're looking to do something kind of cost effective. So I'll kind of talk you through what we've done and uh, give you an idea of the kind of cost as well. We're in the UK, it's uh, 2022, prices are soaring. Uh, this was actually done before <coughs> some of the recent kind of Ukraine wars. So some of the prices were a little bit lower when we bought some of it as well. Um, so first off, this has been done to building regs uh, standards. So they do require a fire check door lining. Um, they said we didn't have to use insufficient strips, but we have chosen to do so. And the door needs to be a fire uh, thickness door as well. So we've got a, uh, a thick fire door on there as well. Um, we've got a, uh, I think it's 800, just 800. I think the building regs said you could get away with like 750 but he preferred 800, so we've got an 800 wide uh, st staircase. This one came from Stairbox. It's about a thousand pounds. They do vary, this is the MDF version. Uh, it has got two turns on it. So in this particular one, we're going up into the middle of the room. So as we go up, you'll see we've got a turn, and then we've got a second turn. That does obviously add to the cost of when you get these staircases pre-made. Uh, but that was fairly decent. It went in inside of two days, um, so it's like, Two, I did it pretty well on my own, so it was like two two days of my time to get that installed. Um, so uh, that's kind of the rough uh, sort of time frame on it. Inside the loft, um, this is a four by four meter loft and we've got about three meters of head height. So we've got a really good head height. So we decided not to do a, a full on uh, dormer conversion on this particular one. Um, there's a separate thing in terms of the uh, floor joists and everything, we have already put those in. So we've been asked to use seven inch uh, timbers, which we've done. Essentially, we've got two steels. One steel runs uh, from the, uh, across the uh, side of the house. And then there's another steel on this side. And obviously the floor joists then uh, kind of go across the, the middle of the room, across that span um, of, the, of the room. So um, we'll do a separate thing on actually on the steels. The house has been renovated, so it was done from kind of, it was it was all clear, so it was really easy to, to do. Um, everything else is very good. We've put in, there's your purlin. Um, we've obviously stud walled. We've got some openings here in the eaves. We've taken all the old insulation off, which uh, building control is happy with, and put that into the eaves. That's all going into the eaves, and that'll get boarded up as well. Um, and we've got on this side, um, again, that will get boarded up. There's a, there's a door opening in the middle, so we have a huge amount of storage in the, in the eaves as well. We've got two um, V-Lux windows. I think they were about 400 pounds each off the top of my head. Um, and they took a guy, I had someone come in to do that. That took one day to, to, to get those in. Um, so uh, this has to be doubled up. So you will need to double up. So you see here what we've done. We've doubled up the timbers ready for that as well. Um, but I read lots of things online about kind of how big the, those windows need to actually be. Um, I'll just remind you how big these are. This is a four by four room, and these are 600 wide, uh, yeah, 550 windows. Um, and actually they've been absolutely fine. Loads of light in here, one over the stairwell, and then one over there as well. Um, what else can I share with you in terms of uh, format, obviously, uh, this will be all railed in, so obviously you need that for your for your stairs as you kind of rail it all in. Um, chipboard going down on the flooring to get the flooring level. Um, insulation, uh, yeah, it's a quick one on the insulation. So we've got here, um, they just they come up shy, just under 100 mils. So we've got 70 mil insulation uh, to give you a kind of 25 to 30 mil air gap behind this piece of insulation here. Then there's 25 mil going on top, and then we'll plasterboard on top of that. So that's what building controls asked for. Up on the ceiling, we've used these ties. Um, this is just these extra ties to, to help uh, tie in the, uh, the the roof when you put the weight on it. So it would just stop it, gives it extra support. And um, we're leaving those open actually. So at the end, we'll kind of show you what it all kind of looks like, but they're all being left open. So it'll kind of give it extra feeling of head height when you're coming into the room as well. So that's it really. I think, look, I mean, all up, um, it's probably taken, you know, I'm going to, I'm going to estimate about a week and a half to get to this stage. Uh, it's been sort of mixed in a bit with some of the other pieces we've been doing on the house. Um, but it's probably about a week and a half kind of time. You've got kind of a thousand pounds for the stairs, thousand pounds for the windows. And then obviously about 
which costs about 600 for the installation of those two windows. Um, and then you've got obviously your boarding and insulation. So another couple hundred pounds on insulation and boarding, that's quite pricey at the moment. Um, and then the flooring, and again, a couple hundred pounds. So the steels and all the kind of floor joists were quite expensive. That's probably about two and a half grand for these steels and installation. So we're probably running somewhere in the region of 6,000 pounds. So I think 6,000 for um, essentially what's a four by four room. Um, I think hopefully I'm kind of pleased with that. I think it's come out quite well. And um, obviously with the, with the dormer, um, you'd have got a lot more space out of it and probably a, an ensuite up here, but it would have cost probably about another 15,000 to get that dormer built out. So on this occasion, we've kind of just stuck with adding an extra room uh, to the house, which is kind of good for the road, sort of ceiling value. Um, so there you go, I hope that was helpful. If you've got any questions on anything else what's been installed, let me know and we can uh, upload any other little bits uh, of tips for you if you're thinking about doing your own loft inst in install and conversion.